for what has been an unboxing presentation of the two lights. What's up guys? I'm back with another video. Yes, another video. My face is still kind of swollen from when I got my wisdom teeth out on Monday. So yeah, don't laugh because my cheeks are like, yeah. So yeah, today's video is going to be an unboxing video. I'm going to be unboxing my new MacBook. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I ordered the 13 inch um, latest MacBook from Best Buy. It's the MacBook Air. I had the 12 inch one, the regular, um, the 2017, but it was a little bit too small. So I got this one. I got the open box one. Nothing was wrong with it, it's just the box was open. Got the receipt that you can see. Um, and here is the MacBook. Got the open box sticker on the front. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, I got silver in color. I was gonna get the gold one, but they had sold out. So this is what it looks like in the box. Nice silver. Okay, let's go ahead and take the laptop out. Okay. And in the box you get this book right here. You got your stickers and all that stuff in it. Then I have the charger right here and then the actual charging cord so yeah that's pretty much that's all that came in the box pretty basic um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and cut it on and i'll be back in just a few seconds okay so i'm gonna go ahead and okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start setting it up I'm not really gonna add everything i just want to get it all set up so i can show you guys So we got all this stuff setting up. I don't really want to add the stuff from my old MacBook yet. So yeah, I'm just gonna set it up as a brand new MacBook and I'll just airdrop um, whatever I need from my old laptop to this one. Now you can stop it. Okay, so now I'm doing the fingerprint setup. It's really nice and easy. Let's see, we should be towards the end of the setup process. I like the light mode more than the dark mode on the Max. I like the dark mode on the iOS 13 beta, but on Max, I like it in the light mode because I like my screen to be as bright as possible. So it's almost done setting up. Awesome. The basic home screen, I just set it up. I set it up as a brand new Mac. I didn't transfer anything from my old MacBook yet. So I'm gonna go over like the ports and everything on the MacBook. Okay, so I really like the um, Force Touch trackpad. It's really, really nice. It's nice and bigger than the old one. I like the Touch ID. That's really a nice, a nice add-on. And then for some reason, I really like this keyboard. It feels better than the 12-inch MacBook one did, but I don't know. It just feels, it feels better. I like it. I like how it doesn't have as much click as the old version had. And then let's see on the right side we have the earphone jack and then on the left side we have the two USB-C ports so yeah then the Apple logo that does not light up like the old version unfortunately and then on the bottom there's nothing so yeah 
Okay, so here are both the old generation MacBook Air and the new MacBook Air side by side. As you can tell, the screen on the new one looks way better. It's way more detailed. I like the colors better. It looks way better. So yeah, this one is definitely an upgrade in the screen department. I also like how they cut down the bezels. It's not as big anymore on the new one. And then I like how they made the black bezels. That makes it look newer and just way better than the day. Cause this silver was getting played out. It honestly was played out and I like it way better with the black bezel. So yeah. And as you can tell, they both have two different keypads. I definitely am tired of this one. I. I was a, I like this one, but I don't know. I feel like the keys were just out too far and had too much travel with it. But this one right here, it's more, it's less travel and they're more flat, as you can tell. And I like that. I feel like that's a big upgrade on this new one. And then also the trackpad. I love the size of this trackpad. It, it's way bigger than this one. And I like how it has the force touch instead of like the actual click of the old one. My old one, um, I wouldn't say it gave me problems, but sometimes it would freeze and stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully I will not have that problem with this one. Um, okay, so here are both MacBooks with out of case on either one. This one is a little slimmer than the old generation. So, yeah. I will say I will miss all of these ports that this one has. It does have way more ports, but I also have an adapter, so that should not be a problem. And that's the size comparison with the case off. So yeah, this one is a little bit smaller, but I think that's because they shrunk down the bezels and stopped using all that unnecessary space. So yeah, I think it looks way better in the smaller profile. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys a little mini comparison to my new MacBook versus my old MacBook and just unbox it. I have been waiting for this for only like two days now, I ordered it the other day and it was supposed to come tomorrow, but it ended up coming early. Like I said, I returned the 12 inch one. I had the 12 inch one in gold and I returned it because I could get this one for a cheaper price, so I just went ahead and did that. And I think I made the right decision. I love the fingerprint scanner, like I said before. So yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do a sound test just to let y'all hear the different sounds because they said the new speakers are supposed to be better. So I'm gonna start with the old air first. And now I'm gonna do the new air. Okay, so the new air definitely does sound better. It's not like it has like surround sound or something to it. It's made, it's way more, it has more depth to it and everything. I like it. I really like the way how that one sounds. It sounds way better than the old laptop. So yeah. I'm really liking it so far. Um, this is just my first day with it, like I said, because I unboxed it with you all. So hopefully I continue to like it as the days go by. Um, I'm trying to think of any other things that are supposed to be big improvements from the old generation so I can show you all before I end the video. Um, so let me see if I can find anything else. Okay, so they're both on the same Wi-Fi network, and I'm going to get them to load the Apple website. We're going to see if there's any difference in the loading, so let's go. Okay, so the new Air definitely loaded way faster, and they're on the exact same Wi-Fi network I'll show you all. Okay, the family on that one, and the family on this one as well. So they're both on the same Wi-Fi and the new air definitely sped through that like a champ. That was a big difference. So yeah, that's one thing that I was hoping for. I was hoping for not too much of an improvement, but I just wanted it to be a little bit faster and 
that definitely did happen with the new air. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the difference in the video quality between the two as well. So let's go ahead and mute both of them. I don't want them both playing sound at the same time. So just to see how different the screen is. As you can tell, this one seems more like, I don't want to say high definition, but it just seems like the colors are there more and it just looks way better on the new one. And I'm not just saying that because, like I said, it's a new MacBook, but no, it really looks, this looks more realistic and it looks way better. And they're both the same quality. I recorded their video in 1080p. So yeah, this one definitely looks better. And it makes my wall in the background look like the more accurate colors. This one made it look more of like a darker color. So yeah, this one is way more accurate. One thing I can say is the old MacBook's 720p camera, the FaceTime camera looks better than the new one. The new one looks a little grainy, as you can tell. You can zoom in on the screen right here, you can tell. You can see it's more grainy. And then that one over there is way more clear. So I don't know, Apple, what happened, Apple? Why would you downgrade a little bit? But that camera definitely looks better. And my cheeks are still swollen and fat, so yay. Okay, so that has been an unboxing and comparison of the two MacBooks. Hopefully, I like this one way better as I continue to use it. This one has definitely gotten me a long way. I love using this MacBook. I use it for Photoshop, everything. This MacBook has done it all, so hopefully this one can do the same. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer them as soon as I possibly can and to the best of my knowledge. Once again, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we out.